right. So, anybody that knows me well knows that I like long train journeys and that a tradition of long train journeys, particularly if I'm going to Cardiff, which is usually for rugby or to see lovely people, or to Scotland, that's um, one of the last things you tend to do before you leave King's Cross or Paddington is to pop into the MS and get yourself some snacks. So in the great tradition of that activity, this, this train happens to be 20 hours rather than five or six, but in that great tradition, I have some really quite nice cookies, actually. I'm quite impressed with these. They're not bad at all. So, but dinner, I've got dinner. Dinner's at nine. I'm having steak and salad with mashed potato. Should be good. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so I have cookies. I also have, as is a time honored tradition, a very, very tiny bottle of champagne, which I'm now going to open. So, watch this go wrong. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Show you. Oh, I'm actually keeping a time lapse of this as well. Let me show you. Hang on. So my camera is down. My my phone is down there, recording this frankly incredible scenery. Um, and everywhere we go, people are waving at the train. It's really cool. But basically, I'm going to spend the next couple of hours reading my book, drinking my champagne, and uh, and then I'm going to go and have dinner as I watch Patagonia speeding by. Now. I'm really, I'm currently sharing a carriage with a lovely um, Argentinian lady. She's next door with uh, the other people that she's travelling with. Unfortunately, she's afraid of the dark, so she's just asked me if I mind sleeping with the lights on all night, which is somewhat of a, a bind if I'm hoping to see the Milky Way through the window, which is my plan. Um, so the very, very nice guard has said that if they haven't sold one of the spare carriages by 10pm tonight, that I can go and sleep in that. So fingers crossed that I get my room to myself, because that would be amazing. In the meantime, I'm going to look at the world go by. <laughs> <laughs>